Hello, this is Finop Consults and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to continue with our part three of the frequently asked questions, looking basically at the limitation and the communication questions around it and other questions of Test Gorilla, which is your ultimate platform for the talent assessment and skill-based hiring. Uh, today, we are going to be sharing insights on uh, uh, frequent last questions about invitation and communication and other questions. So, starting with invitation and communication questions, question one is, uh, can I have feedback on my application? Uh, and, the, and the answer is, Test Gorilla is a software tool used by a company looking to hire. Uh, they do not have access to your job application status and feedback on application. You need to contact the company that apply that you applied to for any information about your application. I think that's clear. Basically, this Gorilla is like a platform or a soft, not even it's like it's a software tool used by companies looking to hire. Um, moving on to the other, can I see my results? Yes, you can. Uh, you may have to redirect to the Test Gorilla profile page upon completing your assessment. Once you create your account and you can log into, you can have an overview of your results and status of any of your past or current assessments. I think that answers that. Uh, 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 but, you know, some of cases in practical situations is or are uh, that the, the, uh, the, the, the employer sends you the results on your email to tell you whether you have uh, qualified or you have not qualified, given the fact that uh, the other question I would expect is uh, what is the pass mark? Uh, the pass mark varies depending on the different employers and depending on how many or how, how the performance has been. So there is no static pass mark, but it depends on how the performance has been uh, on the different employers. So the employer, the, the, the employer can decide to to uh, to create a pass mark depending on the performance of that particular assessment that has been undertaken yes and it will vary then how do you, i contact the company i apply to uh, well that is obvious the only means you, uh, you contact the company is through the means of their website or those details that were provided on the job postings uh, then i'm using a public invitation link but my email address is not accepted what should i do Yes, that is also important. Uh, first, check your email address. Is it typed correctly? All email addresses are prepared through an email validation system that prevents use of high-risk emails. Your email address may be mistaken for a fraudulent account if it contains a lot of numbers or characters. It is new and it is frequently used to send unsolicited emails. If your email is correct and still not being accepted, please contact us from the email address uh, or, or visit web, the, the test gorilla site and you get the details on, on of the email address which i can also share in the link for ease i guess that answers that then i completed the assessment what happens next emphasizing still on what happens next test gorilla is basically a software tool as you've said for hiring so once you see a message like thanks for completing this assessment you can now close this window uh, your answers are saved and made available to the hiring company you do not receive a confirmation regarding the completion of the assessment and uh, uh, and uh, if applicable your assessment you may be redirected to the test gorilla profile page upon completing your assessment to create your account and you can log in to have an overview of your results or they will be shared via email as i've said in most practical scenarios uh, and then uh, there is a note here which says this Gorilla does not play any part in decision making process the decisions are made solely by the hiring company as such we cannot provide you updates or on time frames I guess you note that also uh, I have not received my invitation email what should I do yes it is also important to highlight this if you're expecting an invitation from uh, the employer or from test gorilla please check your spam folder please i'll repeat it check your spam folder most of us only end on checking the uh the inbox and once you don't see an email you'll be like i've not received i uh, always ensure to check your spam folder 
despite of having some fishers emails coming through in the spam folder but some emails which are genuine also go through the spam folder because of other it issues so always check the spam folder if the if the email is not in the spam folder uh, then there you can contact test gorilla so as they can investigate as i said i'll share the test gorilla email address in the link below uh, for follow-up or even now uh, the, the, the communications that come from test gorilla or is have that email that you can easily contact or send to for easy access actually i'll not share the email but to avoid people being sting to one email address yet they can easily change so for email addresses for any contact refer to the emails from the test gorilla or from the employer then i received a reminder but have not but i have already finished the assessment uh, always ensure that once you've finished the assessment you get a message of this nature thanks for completing the assessment you can now close the window that is very important but also sometimes uh, companies have additional questions at the end of the assessment which can be missed and uh, this may result in, in your assessment not being marked as complete so always best to check double check your assessment to ensure it's fully completed and you also may be invited to more than one assessment so that is also there so be really a bit uh, be keen on on the instructions then when should i contact this gorilla and when should i contact the hiring company if they are expecting any technical difficulties during the test or, pro, or to provide feedback about the assessment content contact us for anything else you contact your uh, your prospective employer we recommend contacting the company for the fastest and most direct answers because test Korea does not have access to that information i think that answers the question and I, and also in the one of the videos I hi, the hi, I highlighted that in case of technical difficulties and you did not enable cookies, Test Gorilla will not help you. So always ensure that you follow the, the prompts and enable the cookies. You, you, if you have not watched that video, go back and watch it, and ensure that you 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 enable the cookies to avoid in that in case you want any support from Test Gorilla, they can easily support you. Other questions. Other questions uh, below here. You can see. Uh, uh, can you help me find a job? Unfortunately, Square does not deal in that. And then, why can't I log in to get an account? As we said, if you've been invited to take an assessment, you do not need to take. You do not need to create an account on our system. That is very important. We talked about it in one of our videos. So I'll make this short. Uh, in case of any questions, please comment in the link below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you next time.